guys, this is Ada coming in with a quick word. Okay, today, today the word is grow. Yes, grow. Okay, this morning as I was meditating, guys, you know, we all have situations and circumstances that rise up against us. And a lot of it is just familiar patterns. And what I got out of that before, because remember, guys, we're all human. We go through human emotions just like anybody else. And Jesus was fully God and fully human. So there were times that he really, really struggled with his emotions. And so he know how to identify with us. And sometimes there may be situations that come, people that may be even close to you. And they test your faith, especially when you're moving forward. When God has given you a vision to move forward and to get some things accomplished for his kingdom, the enemy is always going to use something to try to slow your progress. But the Lord says, grow where you plant it. Wherever he plants you, grow. And we have to learn how to overcome these challenges without getting out of character. Yes, we set boundaries. Yes, we say what we need to say. But we don't need to give take up any mental real estate, getting out of character, being angry. We can be angry and see it not. But when angry anger goes into another area is when we let it, when we see in it. So you may get angry at a circumstance. It may even be a person. But we don't have to get out of character. First of all, we can speak the truth in love. We can speak the truth. And we can say how we feel. And we can move on. But just, just know that things are coming toward you because of what God is doing in your life. And the more we learn how to grow where we are planted, a lot of times the challenges will be less. And most of the challenges that you're going to experience are going to be with people. Not just people, people who may be close to you. You know, and when we talk a lot about family. And family is not always blood. Family could be those who are really submitted to doing God's will. That is your true family. But then we're family by blood. And sometimes these family members really do challenge us. They really do challenge our faith. But we have to grow what we're planning, keep moving. When the enemy come in and try and use someone close to you to get you off course, you know, you have to learn how to keep moving past that. Because once he come in and once you get into a state of getting your emotions, whether it be anger or any emotion, once you let that emotion sit, well, it's taken, it's, it's taken away from you. The enemy comes but to steal, kill, and destroy. So he's destroying you by using somebody else and you're giving thought to it. You know, you need to straighten out the problem if, if possible. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will just lead you to be quiet and not say anything. And sometimes he will, he will show you what to say, but we have to ask him. Lord, how do you want me to address address this issue? And that's called being submitted to him and being led by him. So with that being said, guys, grow where you're planted. Uh, just because you're having challenges with people, challenges with circumstances, that doesn't mean you have to get out of character and slow your progress. Don't let the enemy steal from you. Don't let the enemy take anything else from you. He's stolen from us enough. I know for myself personally. He has sold, and in this season... I am determined not to let the enemy steal from me. And you should be determined too. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in and watching this video. If this video has been helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you feel like it will benefit someone else, please share. If you feel like this channel will be helpful for your spiritual growth, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for the next video.